Hi viewers, welcome to my channel Navin Velsuri. In today's video, I am going to design a CMOS inverter circuit layout by using MicroWind tool. For this, open the MicroWind tool. Uh, in that, the designing we may done in uh, three ways. The first way we are designing by using a very log file which was generated at the time of uh, uh, schematic circuit simulation. So for this, go to the compile and take the compiling Verilog file, V file, which was generated at the time of schematic simulation. Now here we have to compile that Verilog file. So after clicking on the compilation, it shows no errors and it gives the entire structure default generated by the microwind tool. So here we have to assign the input value. So for here, the time low value and time high value we may change. Now I am taking uh, 1 and 1. Now I have to assign the VDD value also. It was already given a default values as uh, like that. So I have to assign the 5 volt and 3.3 volts which, which we want to require. That one I am giving. After uh, completion of the assigning the input values and VDD values, we have to save your circuit. So if you want to design in a particular nanometer technology, then go for the file and at there you have to select the foundry. In that foundry you have to assign your required uh, nanometer scale technology. Now here I am saving the layout after uh, assigning the input values. Now I will go for the verification of its function by clicking on the run simulation button. After run simulation button, you got the input value and output value representation of the given circuit. If here, if you observe that uh, A value, which is an input represented in green color and red output Y is represented in the red color, both we are getting in an uh, inverse operation or complementary operation. Here we may measure the, the power consumption value also. Here the power consumed by this default generation of the layout was 41.247 microwatts. And the temperature we got the value also. And we can observe the delay value also in between input and output by clicking on the delay values. In this way, we can design the layout of a CMOS inverter circuit. And one more method we can design the layout is by using the default structures of transistors. For that design, I am taking the CMOS 45 nanometer technology. Now I got the multiple number of layers here. From that, N type and P type transistors already that layout is generated clearly. I am taking that particular generator uh, layout generations. Here I am taking the PMOS and also NMOS layouts. Now that layouts I am going to connect together to establish the CMOS inverter circuit. So for that, here whatever the terminals we have taken that represents the PMOS transistor source, gate and drain. Now I am combining the gate and gate of NMOS transistor by taking the MOS gate layer that is polysilicon layer and uh, the source of the PMOS I am connecting with an VDD and now the source of NMOS I am going to connect with a ground terminal. So I am taking the ground I have connected with a ground terminal. And now I have to take a metal one layer to combine the drain of PMOS with drain of NMOS transistor. Drain of PMOS and drain of NMOS we have connected together. From there we have to take the uh, output to, to observe the operation of a CMOS inverter circuit. For that I, uh, I have taken the metal layer and I have com combined these two. Now, I have to assign an input value for the polysilicon layer. So I am taking an input pulse here. So a clock signal I have taken and that was assigned to the input side. And we can take the time uh, assignment value 
either with your required uh, logic levels based on your requirement and I am assigning the input value and then uh, for to observe the output value we have to take here the visible node that is I symbol that was assigned to the uh, layer that is metal layer. Now we have to go for the run simulation option and here we have to take the a uh, safe method that is polarized n well to the VDD, you have to select that one, then you will get the operation simulation output of your required CMOS inverter circuit. If you observe here by changing the time scale, you can clearly observe the output variation with applied input variations in the CMOS inverter circuit. Here you can observe the power and temperature values compared to the previous method here we got the clear uh, uh, here we got the less power consumption compared to the default generation of a layout circuit by using the very log file and the third method to design a CMOS layout is by taking layers separately and combining all those layers in the micro wind tool. So, if you observe here, this is the structure of a CMOS inverter layout design. Here we are taking the uh, P layer that is a, a P diffusion layer to represent the P MOS transistor. The P diffusion layer will be cross forward uh, to get the P MOS transistor and similarly N layer that is N plus diffusion layer will be cross forward with a polysilicon to get the N MOS transistor. So, to represent that one uh, to take uh, supply rails so that is VDD line and VSS line, I am going to take a metal layer and I am placing the two metal layers. These two metal layers are representing the upper one is representing VDD supply rail and bottom one represents the ground terminal. And now I am taking the P diffusion layer to form the P mass transistor. So, from that I am taking a P diffusion. Now here these two are the different layers, one is the P diffusion and one is the metal who to uh, represent its contact cut, I am taking a P plus diffusion with metal contact and that metal contact was placed right there. And similarly to form an uh, N mass transistor, I am taking an N diffusion uh, that will be connected with a metal layer. Here also we have to take the contact cut with uh, N plus diffusion and metal and both will be placed here. Now both N and P mass are two different diffusion layers, so we cannot directly connect them. So both will be connected by taking a metal layer. Here I have placed a metal and again this metal is connected with the P diffusion and diffusion, so I have to make the contact cuts here also. Contact cuts here also. To form the uh, transistor we have to place a polysilicon layer on the diffusions. So, wherever the polysilicon cross with the diffusion then we are getting a transistor. Here we got the P diffusion cross over with the polysilicon and N diffusion crossed with the polysilicon. Now, I got the P mass and N mass transistors. Here the representation of the a layer separation with another layer is very very important to get the clear output value. Now we have to assign the supply with the uh, supply rail that is a metal terminal and VSS with the bottom represented metal terminal. Now to assign the input value, I am assigning the input value uh, to uh, for that I am taking a clock signal that was assigned with a polysilicon and to observe the output value, the visible node that is assigned with the metal terminal. Now go for the simulation, uh, when we run the simulation then you got the waveforms that represents the operation of a CMOS inverter circuit. Here if you observe the in logic input as 0, then we got the output as logic 1. If you observe logic 1 as the output input, we got the output as logic 0. In this way we can design CMOS inverter layout in three ways.